feel like I absolutely am becoming a beauty channel. Hello there, storytellers. Welcome to a special video. This is an exclusive Patreon video, so thank you, first of all, huge thank you for being a Storyteller Squad Patreon. Patreon. Patron. Storyteller Squad Patron. That's a STSP, in case you wanted to, you know, make it smaller. But uh, there is a reason that my makeup is particularly extra right now. If uh, you can take a peek there, look at the coloring. Took me forever to do, by the way. This video is something I don't know if I've ever actually done, and thankfully, it, you know, makeup is okay because it's not like a tear-jerking story. I thought it would be an entertaining story because much like my life and how I am, I make, you know, I tend to bowl right through things, and that's the Taurus sun sign in me. First and foremost, I, as you probably can tell from the eyeshadow colors that were happening, gradient by the way, I don't know where the skills came from, I think I just kind of blacked out during it. I am bisexual. Uh, this is something that I came to discover about myself maybe, let me think, maybe about six years ago, maybe less. I've never really had a term for it because I always have you know, been attracted to anyone, really, depend, you know, regardless of gender. Um, but I've noticed that bisexual seemed to be the one that I gravitated to the most. If I had to label myself, that's what it would have been. Now, I came to this realization far before I came out to anyone. Though, I will say, my friends, we've always sort of, we've been open um, about everything. I think that's what makes us such great friends. But in particular, sexuality and you know gender roles and that stuff we've had lots of conversations about very open positive conversations but on to the moment I came out sort of officially in particular to my mother <laughs> let me set the tone for you I believe it was around Cinco de Mayo around May this was I would say two years ago I would say and I was in a mood and I think generally it was around the time when I sort of was trying to figure out my life. I think I was unemployed, so maybe that was three years ago. Three years ago. Um, I was just very lost, and, you know, I didn't want to go out into the world. My anxiety was very high. One day, I was dragged to dinner with my mom and my stepbrother and his wife and daughter. We went to Applebee's. So you already know <laughs> this is going to be an interesting story if it's an Applebee's story. How do we put this nicely? My family is very... Um, they're very uh, strong opinioned and they tend to say things that I don't think are necessarily intentionally malicious. They just don't think about how the words affect other people. And at that moment, I was very uh, sensitive and cranky and hungry. And I had decided that I was gonna drink some margaritas. So uh, obviously I had quite a few. And when I drink, I'm usually a nice person. I'm very calm and relaxed. And uh, that was kind of counteracting the internal rage I was feeling. Um, in particular, because I don't remember specifically what my, my stepbrother had said, but he had said something that me as someone who was essentially closeted, um, d you know, didn't find too yeah, good. So I um, kept my mouth shut. Surprisingly, until we were outside, I believe my brother and his family had all gone to the bathroom. So my mom and I were waiting outside of the Applebee's. I was trying to be really quiet and not say anything, but my mom tends to force things. She doesn't quite let things go. I'm not sure why the lights are blinking in the background, but it kind of fits the aesthetic that I'm going for right now. She pushed and pushed until I finally <laughs> cracked. And I, here's a fun fact about me. When I get to a specific point of frustration, I get angry. And I don't get angry very often uh, because when I do, I tend to kind of black out a little bit and kind of just don't really remember what I said. But I remember a general sense and gist of what I had ranted to. So I finally went on a little rant about my stepbrother's words and how hurtful they were. And I remember saying, I don't agree with what he's saying and I don't think it's okay. 
And then I went on to fully rant and say, he shouldn't stop saying these things because I'm bisexual. He should stop saying them because they're not okay to say. And <laughs> that was the moment I came up to my mom and she said, wait, what? And in true form of me, I said, we're not going to talk about that right now. I'm going to continue to rant. So then I did rant some more and she kind of just let it happen. And then I had to be quiet because my family had come back from the bathroom. So that was an awkward car ride home. And uh, that is essentially the story. I, I ranted. That's how I came out. I'm a passionate person when I feel um, like it's justified and that people should stop being assholes. But I always thought it was funny because of all the places and situations to come out, my story wasn't heartfelt and it wasn't, uh, you know, a sit down on the couch, talk with the family thing. It was outside an Applebee's. <laughs> so to conclude this sort of story, um, thankfully uh, my family is supportive of me and they don't quite get it really but that's kind of how families I think tend to be and uh, my mom gave me an apology new bedding set so there was that <laughs> to think I spent so much time to film such a short video but I think that this look is important to note because it is the bisexual flag um, and pride is coming up so uh, whether you are closeted whether you are open whether you're not really sure, that's okay. Do you, boo-boo. It's all about you. And without further ado, thank you for being a patron of my channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. It, it means more than I think I'll ever be able to formulate that you're willing to subscribe with money <laughs> uh, to support the channel and the goals and the dreams that I want. And this little community that I hope that will grow bigger and bigger and do more things than just me ranting about being outside an Applebee's. So thank you for watching and keep on shining storytellers.